Hey y'all, Dirty Nostalgia here, bringing you the second installment of the Dirty Smurf series, building the Perfect Smurf, and really the account, hey, this, I haven't shown this account yet I, on the intro series, I just showed you how to use Smurfs, and from this point forward, I'm just going to show you how to raid, how to build the account perfectly, I've built at least, oh, eight second, secondary accounts, in addition to my main account, and uh, really only a few of them have been built correctly and one of the biggest mistakes people make by far is in my opinion anyways is I don't think you need more than three legendary heroes and you do have to run some ordinaries of course which means you you run engineer and marksman plus three legendaries is kind of a decent one or you could do two legendaries and assassin However, this account uh, sort of accidentally rolled uh, Succubus off uh, some free gems, and the Paladin was the one that comes for free, and the Mortep is what started on the account, so I waited until I got an account with a Mortep on it, and uh, he's really obviously the key, and he also was born with Bulwark, so uh, we're, we're good with that. That's awesome because he has lots of hit points. Now, all of these uh, slimes are being saved here because this account, and one of the reasons I haven't started this video yet, is this account is one day away from Druid. And that becomes my third legendary, and that's why my Paladin is not level past 40, because this Paladin will likely be consumed. And this account will have Immortep, Succubus, and Druid, plus Engineer, and Marksman, and Angel will get consumed. So that's how that's going to work out. Now, right now, I don't have very high level uh, abilities because I've been saving all of these for Druid. I, I want to get Druid to 3 of 9 before I do really anything else. And I want a Mortep to 3 of 9 before I do anything else. Mortep's already there, and Succubus is only at 2 of 9, and Paladin's probably at 2 of 9. I don't know why I quite went to 5,000 out of 10, probably because I had another Paladin. But, anyways, this is a. Fi essentially, when I run Here Be Monsters, I take out. I take out one of the heroes here. I take out Paladin and run four heroes. But when I'm raiding, I bring that Paladin back. I, that Paladin is pretty much useless for <laughs> here be monsters. So uh, I do want to show something about this account, though. So basically, all I've been doing is leveling buildings. I got Town Hall at 12 going to 13. I only have one army camp at level 1. And I do not have a Relic Hall. That's one interesting difference here between what I normally do and what I'm doing now. And also, oh, so there's a relic hall there. No guild. Actually, I did do a guild hall because this this uh, counts in guild motion. That's the fifth member of the empire, as I call it, the Dirty Distagio Five Guild Empire. And you can see here that motion's got 33 out of 50, and uh, they're doing pretty well. So. I do have motion here. One of my rules for motion is if you do have letters for the word motion, they cannot be in a straight line because, hey, that's too fixed. It's too stationary. And motion is a fluid sort of a, you know, constant changing and evolving guild theme. And so we like to have fun with that one. I do have a mana mill and gold mine, only one of each at level one. I do have arena pop down. This is Dirty Blue. Dirty Blue is the name of this account. And um, let's just show you right now how this is looking raid-wise with a Mortep at 3 of 9, level 60-ish. So the interesting thing about strategy when you're uh, running a Blue Smurf account is there's not much strategy when you raid, actually, because you just drop all your dudes and go. And when you do get up to like five, 6,000 might, then you do have a little bit more strategy, but right now it's basically Immortep owns everything. and. This paladin is going to die. This paladin will eventually be replaced with druid. Now, not having relic hall. That's an interesting one. <clears throat> Normally, I do have relic hall, and I only level that relic hall pretty high. But this time, I decided not to do that. And you know, relic hall does add a lot of might. And here's the here's the thing. So right there, I lost marksman. Now, if I had restoration, I could have restoration. If I had guardian angel, I could have guardian angel. So I'm going to try this. I mean, right now, as you can see, raiding is pretty easy. And once I have Druid, I won't need many heals. So I'm just going to see how this will work out without Relic Hall. I do believe the best Smurf in existence is one that does not have a Relic Hall. So I know that means a lot of you folks that built one maybe didn't build it in the exactly perfectest way. But I mean, 
all of my other Smurfs have relic calls too, so you're, you're, not, you're not the only one in that case. And you know, raiding is very, very easy as you can see, and and every now and then I'll be popping back in and on this account and kind of giving you guys an update, but I did just want to post kind of what she looks like right now, and I'll end the video with this raid, and then I'll do one here be Monster A, but I mean you can see a more tip here is now hitting for like between two and three thousand, there's a 33, 3400. 25, 25, 25, 27, 25, 5, 5, say 2,500 is kind of the average now here at level 68, and that's definitely pretty awesome. And it's, actually, it's pretty interesting. I'm going to end this right here. What's interesting is the survivability of it. Martip is really, really high. With that bulwark, it's even higher. And yeah, I only got through a couple raids there, which wasn't so great on the Smurf account, but. Really, it's just it's just been slightly slightly painful because I don't have Druid yet. Once I get Druid, this this account is going to totally totally change for the better. Now I just want to show you something. When I run here, be monster. I go ahead and I put this hero base right here, and I come to the hero base and I take off Paladin. And then what I do is come watch this right here. I I move this hero base one up, and then I move Succubus one up. And this is the Peon Clover. It takes uh, 70 walls to make a peon clover, and 70. Like if you take these little end guys off here, and you were to count these walls here, that's basically it's basically um, 70 walls to do this figure four times. And so, however, I laid down a bunch more walls just so I can start leveling them because I had some excess gold. But then I started working on cranking on uh, Town Hall. Anyhow, without further ado, let's run a Here Be Monster AA and we'll end this Dirty Smurf video, second video. Thanks for watching.